how's it guys welcome back to my channel and for those of you are new at triple welcome to you so guys in today's video we're going to talk about boring perfumes that i absolutely adore they're not necessarily boring guys they are just boring in comparison to something like this this is of course um, Mugler's Humanity. This is very out there. It's a very strange smelling, very unique type of perfume. So the perfumes that I'm going to discuss today is going to be in contrast of this. It's going to be in comparison considered bland and boring. Also in terms of my overall collection you will also think it's boring because I have a very out there perfume collection. The first one is this. This is Stella Pop Blue Bell. This is beautiful. This has notes of tomato leaf. It has notes of iris violet. Either one of the two or both. It's a very soft and feminine smelling fragrance. Very close to the skin. I would say a skin scent. The next one is Femme by Zara and this is also a beautiful powdery kind of sweet smelling fragrance. It's very very it's a great bedtime scent and it's very feminine and girly smelling a little bit powdery as well. It's Zara so it doesn't last that long um, and but it, it's quite an affordable and beautiful smelling fragrance. Then we also have for the next one it's Versace's Crystal, a bright crystal. Um, as you can see I've used, I've almost finished this and this is really really beautiful. This is such a bright smelling fragrance. I think it has pomegranate in it which just brightens up the fragrance. It's very very feminine smelling it's actually it projects quite well and it's very long lasting so it's a beautiful day scent um, it's just a happy fragrance to me then um, we have softly by Joel Sander um, this one ah, this one is beautiful guys this is also very aquatic rose smelling fragrance it reminds me of rose petals you know drifting on clear um, water um, it's just refresh refreshing and feminine smelling to me and I'm trying to make my mind up on how I should display this then we have um, this is JLo's Glow. This is a very soapy, powdery smelling fragrance. It has orange blossom in there with some other notes. Very long lasting too. I wear this to bed as well, but I'll wear it during the daytime when I'm just at home, not doing much, just having a relaxed day. It's also very feminine and floral smelling. I love this. I know not everybody likes this one. Um, because they say it's quite bland and boring, but I, I do enjoy this one a lot. The next one we have is this one, and this is by Avon, and this is called Rare Pearls. This is also a beautiful floral fragrance. It's very soft smelling, very soothing to the nose. I get a kind of a green background, even though there's no green notes in there, I don't think. Um, but it's also, you know, more of a skin scent. It's beautiful for bed. I truly enjoy wearing that one to bed. Then we also have um, Masoni EDP or EDT. I'm unsure now. I absolutely adore this bottle. This is also very floral fragrance. It has a little bit of a fruitiness to it. It's kind a tropical type of fragrance I would say maybe it's just the bottle that gives me those vibes but this is nice smelling I think it's crowd pleasing um, so that's probably the definition for me when it comes to boring scents it's it has to be crowd pleasing and it has to be you know um, a nice fragrance then we also have Gucci Bamboo 
and I adore this fragrance this is beautiful this is a very aquatic type of fragrance even though there's no bamboo in here it kind of gives the feel of you walking through bamboos with your you know your your feet in clear water and just giving that freshness and kind of an earthiness to to the freshness that the the fragrance provides um, also very crowd pleasing and just a beautiful nice fresh smelling fragrance so those are the fragrances that I would consider quite boring in my collection in comparison to all of my other more out there flamboyant fragrances um, but I feel like you know these ones have a place in my collection you don't want to smell overwhelming all of the time especially not me when I want to go to bed or just having a laid-back day at home or even sometimes when I go to work I don't want to smell you know um, uh, noticeable every single day I feel like there's a place for these type of fragrances in anyone's collection. Yeah, so that it's, that's it guys. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.